In this lesson, we're going to talk about the box model. To me, the box model is the core of CSS. If you understand it well, your life would be so much easier when working with CSS. So I want to make sure that you get it right the first time, and it's just going to save you hours, and once you understand it, you'll, you'll feel like you can build anything with CSS. It has to do with the way content is um, is packed in, in boxes and it's separated from other content. And it uh, defies what we usually understand by width and height, those dimensions. Um, all right, so <clears throat> in uh, let's say you have a div, right, a block, a certain block. You can add a border to that block. And the border is going to have a certain a certain height, a certain width, and that dimension can be different on the top, on the bottom, on the left, and on the right. Um, the border property is then uh, what we use for that, and we specify the, the border, the, the, lar the, the dimension, the length, in uh, pixels. There's, you can also specify it in, in other uh, units of measure, but we'll work with pixels. Inside uh, your border, you can have a separation between where your border begins and where the actual content begins. That's called the padding. You can also have a padding on the top that, can, that may be different from the padding on the bottom and the padding on the left and on the right. And then you have your content. And when you specify the width or the height of your content, of your div, what you're specifying is actually just this inner part. Whatever you specify for width will have the other dimensions added to it. So the final, the real width or the real height is going to include not just what you enter as height or what you enter as, entered as width, but also the padding, the border, and then the margin. And, and what's the margin? The margin is the separation between, it's like a forced separation that you imp impose between your um, block, the, where the uh, is starting from where the border ends, to other elements that might be around. So the total width of your um, of your div of your block is going to be the margin on both sides, plus the border on both sides, plus the padding on both sides, plus what you entered as the width property. For the height, same concept. Uh, margin top plus border top plus padding top plus height plus padding bottom plus border bottom plus margin bottom. Um, let's have a look at the at the code. Um, I have the tiles in here, and I'm going to give them a certain width. Just going to be 100 pixels. And I want to have uh, a border, which is going to be of uh, 20 pixels. And it's going to be solid, and it's going to be, uh, we'll just leave it black by default, but I could write, say, cyan. And um, I also want to have a, a padding of um, another 20 pixels. See how what I said earlier is making sense. And now, well, the margin will say that it's of um, 50 pixels. You can also specify these properties um, separately. So you can do, uh, if, you, if you type two values, the first one is going to be for up and down, for I mean top and bottom, and this one left and right. You can also go like this. You can specify, say, just padding left. This will make it more obvious. Um, you can add left, right, top, uh, sorry, bottom and, and top. And you can have that for your border, for your padding, for your margin. Um, that's the takeaway here. That's what you need to learn. That's the box model, the basics of the box model. See how the total width uh, I'm specifying the width of 100, but that's only the inner part because the real width of this whole thing 
you need to add all the other dimensions and you have to keep that in mind because sometimes you'll be like hey I specify the width of 100 why is it still so big or why is it not a fitting on the space and it's because you're not adding the other parts as well so this is the box model and I've provided the, the, the image file as well um, now we're ready to move on and uh, to, to some other concepts